Laura, great to have you here. In front of you, you're looking at a picture on a stick of yourself, Paul Feinbaum, <laughs> Tim Tebow, and Marcus Spears, part of the SEC Nation team seen Saturday mornings on the SEC Network. It's the Traveling College Football Show. We want to ask you some questions mm -hmm. about these personalities that you work with, and we're going to have you tell us which person fits the answer okay. best. So, well, I'm usually not very much fun at all, so I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah, we but, heard but that. But whatever, we we'll were try. Asked, I had, you know, like your friends at the network said, can you get Laura to come out of her shell? And yeah, good luck. so that's what we're luck. attempting to do here. And I know it's, it's well, up to me. It's my job to really pull that off. Your whole career is riding on it's, this moment. Right now, it's, it's, this is what it's all coming down to. <laughs> what have you done for me lately? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Laura Rutledge, first question. Who is the most irritable in the morning? I know you guys oh. have to get up early in the morning. <laughs> but, so what? And Paul has to get up the earliest because he usually is doing a million sports center hits and game day and all that stuff. And so he has to be there like way earlier than everybody else. Is there a big coffee drinker in the mix? Ooh. In the morning. Well, that would be. So you're the coffee person. drinker. Maybe you should share Although, some of your coffee with well, Fine Mom. Well, I did. Um, Last week, Paul had never had espresso before, and we I donated an espresso machine to the bus because we needed it. And nice. so I made him his first espresso, and, and he drank it, but then he came back and made another cup of coffee, so apparently it didn't work for him. But this was us drinking our espresso last week. So Paul Feinbaum, espresso, not necessarily. <laughs> okay. Who's, who's the most of the places you've been who do fans get most vocal about besides Tim Tebow? Oh. Because obviously Tebow. Um, right. Is, he he takes a cake there. Yeah. Um, who, who are people sort of yelling? Okay. Marcus. It, so before we start the show, I will always introduce everybody to the crowd. And usually, except for Missouri, who was a, they were all big Paul Feinbaum fans. Usually they will give a huge roar for Marcus when he comes up. Tim will get the loudest cheer, and then Marcus be the second loudest. Who is the pickiest eater in the bunch? Oh, without a doubt. Fine, so this is a trend here. I mean, Fine Fine grumpy. He doesn't like espresso, <laughs> and he's a picky eater. He does he I, eat? I think some people wonder if he eats. He drinks smoothies, so he drinks. He doesn't eat. Um, he'll have his smoothie a day, and th this is his routine, no matter where he is. And and the only thing that he usually will eat for breakfast before the show is. Uh, these little Bavita crackers or Belvita, they're they're not very good, but he loves them. And then after the show, sometimes he'll get like a salad at the airport. But um, he gets really mad at me because every morning I eat sausage and bacon. Like that that's my uh, breakfast. We get Waffle House every week. Right, and then, so girl, I are get... you trying to fit in a man in a man's world all the way around, right? She's like, I, love... I gotta deal with all this testosterone. Yeah, in I the love football I world, love bacon. I'm going I love... sausage. And bacon. Big fan of breakfast meats. Uh, Paul is not, though, and he judges me really hardcore when I'm sitting there eating my meat before the show. Who takes the longest to kind of do their hair for the show? And I really am hoping Ooh. that you say, fine bomb again. <laughs> no, we recently had to convince Paul to get a haircut. I, I would say <laughs> Tim, but, but you know, Tim probably does his before he gets there. His seems to be well coiffed already, um, just naturally well, maybe. I don't do mine. I what mean, what I did really you say? It's it, well, what? Quaffed. I don't Look know. at I've it. It's got this word. little point right here. Whoever cut these out did a really good job. <laughs> you got the little, is, like, what? It's like, there, yeah. That. Yeah. It could be confused for an alfalfa moment, but I think this is actually part of his hair, so it's fine. So it takes him but, the yeah. longest, to, you think, to get ready? To get it, maybe to do the hair, because the rest of us really just don't put a lot of time into the hair. Although Marcus puts some time into getting, like, all the manscaping done around the face manscaping um, it's that very good awesome who do you think would be the best coach of the group oh tim great motivator um there have been times where you know maybe we're all tired or whatever it is obviously we love our jobs tim can get everybody fired up and and i mean he obviously knows the game very well i think people would play well for him all right who, yeah. who would be the best bus driver marcus why 
He is a great driver. I mean, like just of cars. In Aggressive general. driver. Um, at times, yes. I like driving with him because he will get you wherever you're going to go really fast, and <laughs> and he would be really good at driving the bus because he'd also have great tunes too. Like he he is an incredible, like his music choice is all over the all over the map. It, he'll do anything, and he's actually written some of his own music too, Marcus. Do you know lots of music, or do you just know I when do. you like music? <sighs> Um, Can you find whatever it is you want to hear at any given moment? Or- yes, but but I'm also somebody who, like, I, there's not a lot of music that I don't like. I, I will accept all types of musics. Um, musics is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, think I'm, that's plural. I was kind of wondering, like, you've thrown some words at me. Like, I'm pretty sure it's espresso, but you said it sounds like you're saying. Expresso. Expresso. Yeah. But it's. I'm known for doing that. Like adding adding just a little twist on a word that's that yeah. may not be accurate. Kind of like your own Laura language. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah. Just ask my parents about that; they will inform you. Okay, uh, well, maybe we'll get into more of that as we uh, we go through. Who's the most likely to be napping on a Friday <laughs> afternoon and miss a taping? <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> okay, we do in the bus. We have uh, sort of the back of the bus these like kind of easy chairs almost and you can really kind of get him to lean back and he uh he will take some naps in there occasionally there was one time where he was taking a nap and tim came along and you know was kind of messing with him and it ended up being this sort of wrestling match that happened on the bus it's one of the funniest things that's ever happened on there i was sitting right there and and two large men you know wrestling around almost squished me on the couch sort of far away from them there may or may not have been a table broken in the Lucky midst of this. Lucky it was you and not Fine Bomb. He well, yeah, he would have crushed. been smashed. Yeah, he had no chance. But <laughs> but yeah, the, I would say Marcus would take the naps. All right, let's see what um, what is the best atmosphere you guys have had on SEC Nation somewhere. <sighs> so far, it's been Starkville. Starkville shows up like no other. They show up with so much cowbell that you're not even sure if it's that many people there or if it's really just incredibly loud because everybody's ringing a cowbell. We we even had cowbell on the set, so we were ringing them too. Uh, but Starkville takes it very seriously, and um, they showed up big time before their game against LSU this year, which of course they went on to win. We may not know that much about how good LSU really is at this point, but at the time, you know, that sort of started the Mississippi State hype train. They've come down a little bit to earth since then. But at that point, there was so much excitement there in Stark Vegas, and we really felt it at our shows. It was awesome. All right, last personality question about your gang at the SEC Network. Who do you think goes to bed the earliest the night before the show? Oh, um, well, it's not me. I would not. I'm, I'm going to bed the latest. I think it's Timmy. He, he – needs the sleep and and this guy has the craziest schedule and you know is all over the place we'll be like tim where were you this week could be like la key west you know and and he's doing great things everywhere he goes uh so i think by the time he gets to us and especially like during baseball season last year you know he played in the arizona fall league throughout a lot of our sec nation uh shows and he would show up and be very tired so he he goes to bed pretty early if he can i think and and gets his gets his shut eye he's got to get his beauty sleep so we've asked a lot about your personalities on the show that you work with let me ask a question about you have you ever forgotten anything really important on the way to the set or on the way to the show oh, yeah or on a trip that you're just it wasn't an easy fix all the time I mean this is like a common occurrence for me I'm I mainly you know and you know this from hosting a show it's like you need to have your rundown for the show, and, and we have that, and then we sort of blow it up as we're going along, but you need some sort of roadmap for where you're going, right? And you also probably should have, like, a pin, right, you know, in case you need to make some changes. The very first show, which, of course, we're in Dallas. It's all this craziness. We've got Les Miles on the set. We've got Steve Spurrier there. So every everything that could possibly happen is happening, and this is my first time hosting, and I'm thinking – wow, you know, I'm probably going to mess this whole thing up. But but I was also sort of laughing about it because I'm like, this is going to be funny no matter what because who knows what's going to happen. I did the entire show, first of all, having to pee really bad because we only had porta-potties. And I should have just gone on the bus, but I make a rule of not using the restroom on the bus, unlike some other people. And I also had no pin. So every time we were making a change, I'm like, okay, I got to make a middle note, you know, of that because I can't write it down. And I should have just asked for a pen. I'm up there for three hours, for heaven's sakes. We could have asked for a pen, but I never did. And, 
and I was about to TT in my pants by the time the thing was over. So that's really tough. Yeah, it Trying was tough. To I mean, I worked you're totally through, distracted. Oh my, I worked through such adversity. Like I really couldn't believe I got through it. Yeah. Honestly. Well, so so do you feel like you're better now? Like, hey, maybe I don't well, need now, to use the bathroom yeah. or pens for a yeah. while. Uh, it's not nearly right. as much as you think. No, now I've started wearing diapers uh, just on the show, <laughs> just in case. So if you notice that, that's what that is. Um, no, but but I do think that what what I have kind of learned as we've gone along, and I'm still learning every week, and, and you know, I appreciate fans being patient with me if they haven't liked some of the things we've done, but um, I've just learned that it's okay to be like, hey, uh, I need a pin, or I, like, need to use the restroom. I'm sort of this person that's like, okay, let me just make sure everybody else is okay, and then... I end up backing myself into a weird corner, but um, but yeah, we've we've uh, made adjustments along the way. The other thing too is is every person who's hosted the show has been different. So Joe Tessitore was the first host, then Maria Taylor came in after him, and then then now me. And like Maria did not want cards; she wanted everything to be on an iPad. I cannot work iPads all the time, so I was like, I don't really want to have an iPad. I'm going to go the old-fashioned way. So we've sort of gone back more old-fashioned. Everybody uh, who works on the show has talked about that. It's It has become very old school, which which I guess is maybe an indictment on me or maybe just a little bit of a peek into my personality. But it's been, it's been so much fun. Well, if you're not going to use an iPad, you're probably going to need a pen. <laughs> Lessons right. from Laura Rutledge and SEC Nation.